Hey everyone, j -Row Lights here, and we're almost at 500 subscribers. So thank you all who have already subscribed to j -Row Lights. If you haven't yet, go ahead, click that subscribe button below. We're almost halfway there. We're almost halfway to a thousand. And when we get there, we got some great giveaways lined up. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. In this video, we're going to focus on 500. So we're going to look at some Zippos that have sold for $500 in the past 90 days. So stick around. This is j -Row Lights. Let's set the stage. We're on eBay and we're looking for Zippos that have sold for about $500 in the past 90 days. We're, so we're going to look for Zippos, sold listing. We'll just do a range. We'll say 495 to 510. I know there's a lot of listings out there, but I still want to get a good range. Uh, we're just going to do auctions. Sometimes buy it nows may not be that accurate. Uh, but we are going to get some auction styles and we got 27 listings. So we're going to go through and look at some of these listings, not all of them, but just to see what is sold for $500 at auction on eBay in the past 90 days. So let's take this first one. I think this is probably one of the most interesting looking ones already. We have a vintage 1994 Zippo prototype Santa in sled with reindeer. Wow, this one looks interesting. Now, it says it's a prototype. Let's check out the description. The production models of the Zippo were part of 1994 Zippo Christmas series. This lighter appears on page 118 of David Poor's book, Zippo, the Great American Lighter. That's a great book. I don't have one, but I've looked in it. Uh, so, yeah, I would say that is a reliable source. This prototype is the only one known. Yeah, I I could probably see people fighting over this Zippo for $500. That would be something great to have in the collection. Would I do it? Oh, I don't have $500 like that to spend. For those who don't know, Claudio Mazzi is, he's a Zippo guru when it comes to airbrushing. There's a whole collector market out there. And yes, they dump a lot of money on authentic Mazzi uh, this one looks like it's number 37 out of 77. Yeah, look at it. the details. Amazing. Yeah, ma mozzies are definitely, I can see that. Here's one, a 1949 Delco Remy Safety Award Zippo lighter in that black stripe box. Yes, I can see that. Uh, black stripe boxes generally run around $500, uh, depending on the condition of the box and what type of lighter uh, is in there. So yes, I, I can see I can see this one. I have 25 bids on it. I don't know what this one is. Vintage Too Much Coffee Man set. Every once in a while, you get Zippos like this or see Zippos on eBay like this. I have no idea. I, I honestly have no idea on this one. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I wonder if that individual paid for $500 for these three lighters. I do want to look at this one. You got an 80th Zippo in a movie. This just came out like three weeks ago. I got one. Somebody bought the first numbered one for $499.95. I mean, they're going for about $150, $125 to $150 right now. But yeah, I, I don't see it. A very beautiful lighter. If somebody wanted number one that bad, more power to you. I hope you enjoy it. Now, here's some I do believe. Uh, here's a black stripe box down here, 510. You got a three barrel, 16 hole insert. Uh, this box itself, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised it went for this little. Usually a box, the box is in kind of raggedy condition. Uh, it is 80 year old box. I get it. But Zippo collectors are very particular when it comes to these boxes. Sometimes these boxes go for $500. Yeah, yeah, de definitely. I, I could see that going for $510. There's another ad advertisement, black stripe box. I can see that going for $510. I had 23 bids on it. Box is in okay condition. I just got a black stripe box the, uh, the other day. It's not in that condition. I'm not quite sure uh, what that would bring me, but I I'm just keeping it in my collection. Now, I do love me some lots. I do love buying up uh, up a lot of lots. This one, I, I can see it. It'd about be, a, a, what, like $23, $25 a lighter. Uh, at $495, one bid, 
I can see it. Uh, I can see it. If they if there was one that they really really wanted in there, these all look like they're about twenty to twenty five dollar lighters anyway. So I can see that. Here's one lights of all time. I can see that going for four hundred ninety nine dollars. That that's about the market value on them. They came out about a year ago. I have one. I uh, didn't spend that much on it. There's another lights of all time. That's reasonable. I see that. Another three barrel hinge. This one looks sweet. Let me look at this. We have a 1970 sterling silver lighter, $504. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful box. Uh, that a box or it looks like just a little sleeve for it. I can see that going for $504. Had 66 people bidding on it. Here's another Mozzie. Mozzie's go for, for a good bit. Town and Country. I can see this one going for $510. Town and Country is that special hand-painted uh, design. And uh, you can just kind of tell by how the colors kind of go together. It's uh, I forget the actual description for Town and Country. And Town and Country, especially if they have the box. If they have the Town and Country box, you're talking mega dollars. Here's a Ready Watt Kilowatt or a Ready Kilowatt. Those go for pretty penny regardless. But this is a three-barrel hinge. Yes, I can see that going for $510. There's another lot. But this one's just the boxes. And yes, I can see people dumping, uh, what what would that be, 16? What is that, uh, 500 divided by 16? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a math guru. Can't do that math off the top of my head. I'm thinking, you know, if it was 20, 20 bucks a box would be 400. So let's see, 16 times 30 looks like that would be 480. So yeah, it'd be about $30 a box. People love these time period boxes, stick their Zippo in and their Zippo would be worth maybe $100 more depending on what Zippo it is. 29 bids, they, they were fighting over that one. There's another uh, black stripe box, five barrel hinge for $500. Goodyear, great advertising, $510. A Hawkins tread red red box box is in rough shape. But like I said, I know it's an 80, 80 year old box or almost eighty years old. It's not you know it's very unlikely it'll be in. It's amazing it lasted this long. I don't know those uh those boxes do run well. One two three four five six seven eight. It is a sixteen hole insert. Don't see how many hinges it is. Only one person bid it on it. Those I, I really question some uh bids sometimes that just have one on it you never know if they pay up or not so what would you think would you drop five hundred dollars on any of these zippos shown or what would you spend five hundred dollars on let me know in the comments be sure to hit that subscribe button once again thank you all i've enjoyed this i've enjoyed sharing my collection as well as my thoughts when it comes to zippo let me know in the comments what you think this is jayra lights we'll see you on the next one